Hey guys, Crop Miniature is back at it with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you or telling you my painting process for uh, Epic Scale Napoleonic um, French Line Infantry. Uh, this is going to be reviewing a uh, just going through how I painted my uh, French Line Infantry Regiment. This is just going to be my standard Line Infantry Regiment scheme. Uh, and so let's get right into it. Um, so taking a look at this uh, main base or frame, uh, we just see my line infantry. Um, this is a through. Um, oh, the flag's actually coming loose. I I actually ran out of super glue for this, uh, so I used a bit of uh, other glue. Um, but I've just got a printed flag right now because I uh, got these from the magazine promotional. Um, and just taking a look around these guys. Got some great detail painted on there. A perfect amount of detail, in my opinion, for uh, for such a small scale. Um, no, Nobody's going to be seeing these uh, from far away. And I just want them to be distinguishable as French, pretty much. Um, that's the goal, have them distinguishable by French, make them look pretty good, and, uh, this is to a standard that I enjoy. So, uh, just taking you around the miniature, uh, I will show you the colors that went along with each thing. Um, so, for my colors, I am a cheapskate, so for the most part, I will be using, um, uh, crappy, uh, in most people's terms, acrylic paints, because while I do appreciate these expensive paints for some things, um, like metallics and shades, I do not really like them for my bulk paints because uh, I can't afford to be paying for expensive... I don't want to pay for expensive paints whenever these do me just fine and uh, I can spend that money on actual minis. So the first color is Apple Barrel Cobalt Hue. Uh, mix this in with a bit of water. And that is what I used for the French coat color. Um, it's just a bright blue, um, and it works perfectly for my French coats. Um, next, I'm going to be showing you, um, so you can see I've got all those blue coats and cobalt hue. Uh, next, you can see I've got a guy with a tan, um, tan uniform. That is going to be painted in Apple Barrel Classic Caramel, um, or Caramel, however you prefer. Um, just because uh, I think it looks good as like a butternut-ish color to be mixing in. You can see we've also got one right there. Um, yeah. So about uh, one or two per row is what I went for. Um, next, we have uh, for my gray uh, uniforms... I used Apple Barrel's Dark Gray. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Apple Barrel range. It's 50 cents at my local Walmart per bottle. Uh, way better than $5 for GW Pots. Um, so you can see I've got one guy in gray trench coat there. On the back here, I've got two more. Um, I also uh, do want to point out that I use this classic caramel color uh, for the um, ammo pouches on the backs of these guys, um, I know that historically they took a um, a black. Um, they were normally in black, but I just thought that it really made them pop. Um, so the next color that I used is actually going to be a the first like fancy color here. It is Army Painters Matte White. Um, this doesn't really matter. White is white is white, is my opinion. Um, pretty much any white is um, the same. Uh, I just, I use this because I have crappy white paint, but I got this as a present, so if this has better coverage and makes it so that it's less coats, I might as well use it. Um, that's my whole opinion, so any white really is, um, but I guess this is just how I painted them. Um, next, uh, we are going to look at, um, this, we've got some shade, some normal oil shade that I just tossed over, um, the uniforms here, the white and the, um, the pants and the shirts. I painted all of the pants white, um, however, 
there's not many pants showing through as you can see from these other bases. Um, next, I used some gold on these guys. This is not really going in chronological order much. Um, I also used some gold on these guys. I used that for the, if it'll focus, the buttons on the officer's shirt, the handle of the officer's sword, and then also I, uh, with my next color, I mixed in, um, I mixed my gold about 50-50 with, uh, some Retributor Armor Gold with my 50-50 with Dark Chocolate by Americana, uh, to make these little brass buttons on everybody's hat, like the brass buckles. I also used this color, Dark Chocolate by Americana, to paint the rifles, um, on this list, I also used a tiny bit of uh, flag red by Apple Barrel to paint in this guy's uh, drum here, um, but I did not use it anywhere else. If you want to, uh, I, I did consider painting like the dots on the hats um, to be red. I also got rid of um, the plumes that stuck out on these guys, so like now they're all just wearing normal shackos. Um, and then I used some Sunkissed Peach by Apple Barrel for their skin, uh, for their hands, their face, and the back of their head. Um, I even though there are, is hair molded on, I choose not to paint their the their hair just because um, it takes so long to paint hair for such a minuscule detail, and it just makes the head like it just makes it so that it doesn't look like the head anymore, right? So. If I can make it more distinguishable as a head, which I think is more important at such a small scale, and if I can make it so that it saves me tons of time, I'm going to go with it. So I um, I just used uh, that on the back of the head too. Um, I also, uh, I forgot to mention, I used this um, Americana Dark Chocolate uh, for their backpacks there. Um yeah, anywhere I can save some time. That's also why I didn't paint the straps, because nobody's going to be able to see the straps whenever... I mean, this guy's, like, as tall as my thumbnail, or my fingernail. Um, and finally, I also just used some uh, Bright Green by Folk Art for their bases, because um, this one I do understand that people may get mad at me. Um, since I do not base them, I just paint their base green. Uh, however, I, I do just like saving the time and I don't know I, I feel like someday I might base them but since I just use like a pretty much just a green cloth mat um like a homemade green cloth mat with some like different like tans spray painted on every once in a while it this just fits in the best for me um and then finally I also used a uh, lead belcher by Citadel for the bayonets uh, you can see that some of the bayonet color is coming off a bit. It's turning a bit blue. But one, I don't really care to go back because it doesn't matter that much. Because, like, you can't notice it from way up here. Um, and two, also, it makes it give, it gives it kind of like a bluey steel look, which I think is um, really cool, actually. Um, and then finally, a color that I actually forgot to bring to the table here um, is some... Actually, I I have it right here. Right here is some Apple Barrel Black. Um, just black is black is black. I feel like white and black paints, it doesn't matter what brand you use, uh, just Apple Barrel, 50 cents a bottle at Walmart or a dollar a bottle at Joanne's Fabric Store, and you've got some uh, easy paint. I uh, also used Lead Belcher for the sword, if I uh, forgot to say that, and... Uh, Retributor Armor Gold for the Eagle, for the Imperial Eagle. Um, I also do have to, <laughs> I do have to super glue this on better next time. Um, since I got this in the promotional material, I do not have the official flags yet. Uh, so I was just using this one as a temporary flag. And uh, I think it looks pretty good for uh, a temporary, or maybe I'll keep it. Um, but yeah, so this is my review and my painting tutorial guide for the French infantry. Um, 
I may be putting out a review of the magazines at some point. I don't want to make any promises because I just make these videos when I feel like it and when I enjoy it. Um, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. If you are interested in any more uh, epic scale Napoleonic or ACW content, uh, check out my channel. And if you are interested in any Warhammer 40k content, check out my channel. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.